Yeah. I saw him like a couple weeks ago. Oh, sorry. We're still occupying freedom with grace. We're occupying grace right now. <laughs> this is Billy, and we're just going to do a little round robin here and have everybody talk about where they were when the raid happened and what they remember about it, and it's just really <coughs> just taking a moment to reflect as a community uh, about what it looked like through our eyes in that moment. Well, I was occupying love in Hollywood, and I got a call from Jason who said, we need you for tactical support. <laughs> and uh, so I was like, I got to roll. And so <laughs> I came down, and when I got, I'd say about five blocks away on uh, Almeida, they just, there were just cops everywhere. Uh, you, There was no way anybody was getting in the direction of City Hall. Mm -hmm. And so I parked my bus. And just thought, like, you know, I took my earrings out and I jumped on the bike. I had like a little zip up thing and just thought I looked, you know, sweatpants and sneaks, you know, just trying to look like a regular dude. And uh, I went for a little ride just to see, like, you know, just to see I was already down there, you know. And uh, I just, I realized oh, I had never seen so many cops before in my life. I was like, this is not good. Like, whatever they're trying to, whatever's going on back there is, is, is heinous. So. Whatever, I just, I didn't go, and I came back to the work. <coughs> That's it. I, I rode my bike back the next morning. As soon as I got up, Did I you have any source of news overnight? Were you no. following any No, of I, um, to tell you the truth, like, I just, I kind of put it, not to say, like, put it out of my mind, but I was just like, whatever's going on in there is, is going on, and nobody else had contacted me or anything like that. And to tell you mm -hmm. the truth, I was there the night before. I was in the treehouse, and I was thinking, like, you know, I, I told them, I was like, yo, there is, like, 30, like, a line of, like, 30 cop cars that direction. There's, like, like, a bunch of cop cars in that direction. They were like, yeah, right on. I was like, you think they're going to, like, you know, whatever, come back and, you know, <coughs> whatever we try to hit tonight. And we were like, nah, we didn't feel it tonight. And, you know, whatever, obviously, they just kind of even let the let the temperature fall a little bit yep. more. Yep. You know, catch, catch us off guard a little bit <coughs> more. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, when I came, yeah, when I came back the next morning, it was just completely gated up and mm -hmm. there was no trash there, there there was just trash trucks everywhere just throwing tents and everything so mm -hmm. <sighs> everybody was really passionate the next morning though everybody was i mean every, like in like in the best ways you know what i'm saying like spirits were high for the right reason yeah. like, all yeah, right enough, they were like all right enough screwing around they were like enough screwing around like this is serious like, this is on. war like it is on like it's like it's everybody was looking at each other like are you see me <laughs> you know like <laughs> you better get like this <laughs> so yeah, I was, uh, you know, I was, you <laughs> so know, true. we were ready to go. And I was on a, I We've was been a, through something together. Yeah, yeah That's definitely. what it is. It's, definitely. It's, yeah, it creates solidarity. Next morning, it was like makeup sex. Everybody was just giving each other hugs. <laughs> they were just like, I love you! <laughs> <laughs> on that note, Patrick. Uh, um, Patrick. It was, uh, it was... Let's keep checking the time, then, because we are going to GA, we've decided. Yeah. It was Tuesday night. We've been through... Since day one, at least once a day, somebody asked me about a potential raid or what I knew. Yo, we got a helicopter shot at Flight on us. And at the end of a... That's not surprising. You don't stop? You don't stop. It's all right. We finally settled in about midnight about mid <coughs> at the bottom of the hill. I was with Richard Eastman and a circle of friends and family at, the, at our little camp. We were having our brownies. So we all came to the conclusion that certainly nothing was going to happen this night. And then uh, a swarm of stormtroopers like I've never seen before. Like, like, I mean, it was like a movie. It was like a matrix. So uh, the identical form of stormtroopers uh, surrounding us. So we like right now world. with this helicopter? <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a helicopter. Like right police helicopter shining spotlight on us. Oh my goodness. Like right now. Let's see. Still yeah, we're not too far from <laughs> occupation, but yeah, we're just hanging out, occupying Grace. And yeah, now that they followed us here earlier, I guess we've the led them to the lion's den of revolutionaries. So that the world knows, so that the world knows, even as we speak, they're watching us. Hi guys. Hi. This is Jeanette. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Did you see that? Oh, a shooting star. Yes. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. 
They really are. Yeah, look at that. That's the lights from the helicopter. No, right before, right before the shit hit the fan. Tribal came up to me and he said, "Brother, you are not alone. They are with us." And then he walked away, dude. And he didn't spent the whole time that they were doing all that shit, sitting there. And he got arrested, but he was sitting there, Trey. And they had this prayer circle, and him and another person were, he says they were bringing ghosts. And we were in a huge home circle right before we got raised. No, on the stairs, at the top of the stairs. Oh, we at the bottom of the stairs. And you know what? Tons of ghosts. Remember when we had our first fucking meditation? And I told you, like, one of the that was down the Sorry. Was the wow. That was crazy. That was the first one. We're watching the helicopter and a big red shooting star like just blasted through right as the light went out over our faces. Yeah, it was pretty epic. It was probably the most vivid, like sparkly, multicolored like, uh, shooting star I've ever seen. It was like, it was like a firework. It was, yeah, I thought it was a firework at first. Oh, that was a Well, we were in here and all we heard was, oh my god, did you see that? And we're like, oh my god, thinking the police did something. And they were like, oh, shooting star. It was a much better story than one that we made up in our heads when we heard that kind of exclamation happening outside. All right. What time is it? Is it GA time? About 10, 20? 15 minutes to time. Oh, we should Okay, so I'm going to sign off for now. I'm going to get over to GA and pick you guys up over there. So welcome to the pre-GA meeting and this version of episode of Occupying with Grace. Good night. We'll see you later. See you later. Ciao for now. Occupy Freedom LA.